Hello everybody. Today I'll be preparing biryani in a mug and that's going to be chicken biryani. It's a lovely and amazing recipe. Thanks to Priya for the idea to prepare mug biryani. I'll post the blog link of Priya's in the description box below. To start off with, I've taken boneless chicken. I've used chicken breast for this recipe and cut them into equal size cubes. Uh, thoroughly wash them and reserve them in a bowl. I'm going to marinate the chicken with yogurt, chili paste, ginger garlic paste. I've not added any spices to the chili or the ginger garlic paste. I am going to add equal amounts of chili and uh, ginger garlic paste. And I'm also going to add garam masala powder, chili powder and turmeric powder. I'm also going to add a masala which I prepared out of uh, cardamom, uh, cinnamon, fennel seeds and cloves. I've just crushed them roughly in a mortar and pestle. I'm going to add that. And I'm also going to add uh, cumin and some MSG. You can totally leave out the MSG. The reason why I add MSG is because the chicken uh, breast tends to be a little bit of uh, dryness. Uh, the MSG adds a little bit of uh, juicy texture to the chicken. And then I'm going to also add one chicken cube, uh, three fried onions, and a whole lot of uh, coriander and mint. And this is a... Uh, quite a marination and then I'm also going to add some salt uh, mix all of this um, one tip I would like to give you if you can do this ahead of time that is um, ahead of time about eight hours ahead of time overnight if you can uh, prepare this marination and allow this to rest in the fridge it will taste yummy and the next uh, thing what I did was I also added three tablespoons of the fried onion oil so it gives that extra flavor and the chicken was really juicy and tasty so I just added about uh, three tablespoons of that uh, after I marinated this for one hour's time I'm just going to go ahead and cook the chicken and uh, I've heated a wok with uh, two tablespoons of oil you can go ahead and add ghee if you wish to I just added oil and I transfer the chicken to the kharai and I'm just going to allow that to cook fry that a bit and uh, once uh, the chicken has fried thoroughly and uh, the masala has cooked a bit then I'm just going to go ahead and add uh, water I want the chicken to cook and I also want some gravy to prepare the biryani. So I added about 2 cups of water. That's more than enough. You can add a little bit extra. You just have to eyeball and add some water. Uh, you have to place a cover and allow the chicken to cook thoroughly. Uh, while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to prepare my rice. So I've gone ahead and uh, heated uh, enough water in a heavy bottom pot. Added some salt to the water. And I have uh, washed about two cups of uh, basmati rice. I've uh, thoroughly washed it, and I'm going to add the basmati rice to the boiling water. Give it a good stir, and place it on medium flame, and allow this to cook. Now, after 10 minutes, I w just gave it a stir and just saw if that was cooked. Uh, the rice consistency should be in that breaking sort of consistency at the same time it should just uh, mash in your finger it should not thoroughly cook it should have a bit of bite to it so you have to drain the rice and reserve it at that point and uh, meanwhile my chicken is done I'm going to switch off the stove now I'm going to prepare the biryani uh, people who love to prepare it in the mug you can definitely go and prepare it in a mug or you can use any bowl to prepare it. Now I'm using all oven proof um, material over here. Uh, first of all I'm just going to divide the chicken equally into the mug and some in a bowl. And it turned out so cute. 
just layering uh, the bottom of the bowl with some chicken and uh, the gravy. Make sure to distribute the chicken and the gravy equally in the mug and if you want to prepare it in a dish, you can go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and layer the rice. Uh, to the bowl, when I prepared the uh, biryani in a vessel, I uh, layered the chicken and rice twice. Uh, whereas in a mug, I did the chicken only one layer and the biryani, I'm sorry, the rice in the next layer. So it turned out really good. Now you have to pack the mug with uh, the rice and make sure you handle the rice gently because it's going to break if you don't handle it properly. And then in an about half a cup of uh, milk, I added a uh, little bit of food coloring and I'm just going to uh, add the milk to the biryani. I'm just going to drizzle it on top. And the next uh, thing what I did was I prepared a dough out of wheat flour. I did add a little bit of salt to it and prepared a tight dough and uh, rolled out two rotis. And I'm just going to seal the mug with the dough. What this does is it will uh, bake evenly and uh, you will have that uh, steam which creates while baking and uh, the rice will cook through and you'll have uh, the biryani cooked in dum almost or I'd say it's dum biryani so now I place the mugs in the oven at 180 degrees for 15 minutes I use my microwave convention oven to prepare this and to just check it I open the dough on top and once the biryani has uh, cooked, the rice is cooked I'm going to remove the dough and serve it up there are two ways to serve this up. You can serve it just as it is in the mug or you can go ahead and uh, invert the mug on a plate and serve it with egg and raita. It was yummy. Thanks to Priya for the recipe. Uh, she prepared a vegetarian version. I'll post the link in the description box below. For recipe in detail is on my blog with measurements and everything. Uh, to visit my fan page, do visit the description box below. In order to have a channel of visit Pananga, all the links in the description box will post. Pananga. Add the recipe. Thanks to Audio Network and Taste Made. Bye bye.